that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Europe Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making my patio chair and I'm going to be using cinder blocks. I'm working on my patio, so this is a quick and easy way to make your own patio chair that's renter friendly. I got this inspiration from Pinterest. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is spray paint the blocks white and I got the spray paint from Home Depot. It can be used both indoors and outdoors. Now I told an associate there that I don't want to use regular paint, but I would prefer spray paint and he recommended this. I'll advise that you use a spray gun because it's going to be a lot of spray painting. I also got this spray gun from Home Depot. I'll be giving the blocks three coats of spray paint with two hours in between each coat. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Cinder blocks take much longer to absorb paint color. That's why you have to wait for a lot of hours for the paint to get into the blocks before you can go ahead with another coat of paint. I gave my blocks just three coats of white paint. This arrangement is what I'm going to be using for my patio chair, but not to worry because I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I arranged the blocks. This is what the spray painted blocks look like besides the plain ones. Before I started laying anything on the floor, I made sure to use insect repellents. You don't want to be in your patio and have insects all over the place. So this is what I used. Now there are other types in the stores, but these are the two that I used. I needed something really cheap and affordable to cover the floor. So I went to Home Depot and I got an outdoor rug. Now they're going to measure it according to how much you need. And I got just enough to cover the area where my patio chair is going to be. And I used this double-sided tape that's meant for indoors and outdoors to hold the rug to the floor. Now I'm going to start arranging the blocks for the chair. I have white patches all over me because of the blocks, so excuse the mess. I'll repeat the same arrangement that I have here on the left. The next thing I did was to get wood from Home Depot, cut them to size, and paint them white. Oh, and so you know, they're really heavy. To make my painting easy, I used a painting kit that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to give all the wood pieces two coats of white paint. When it was dry, I inserted them inside the holes that we have on the blocks that are at the top. Like I said, I got this idea from Pinterest because I was looking for a quick and easy way to have a patio cheer without any fuss. I like this the way it is, but I want to add something to it. So I got latices from Home Depot and these are plastic privacy screens. Now I have two designs in mind. I'm going to start with the first one to see if it's going to work out. So I'm going to be attaching the screen to the wood on both sides. I have two separate screens, so I'm going to be joining two together to give me a certain shape at the top. I'll be using zip ties to hold both screens together.
I'll be repeating the same thing to these other sides. I got some 8 foot long wood that I'll be using for the project. Now I'm going to be painting all of them white. I'll be giving the wood pieces two coats of paint. When it was dry, I made two holes for the zip ties that I'll use to hold the screen. I'm using outdoor wood and because of that, it's kind of hard to put in the zip ties and take them out. So I had to use a plier for that. I'll repeat the same thing to the second wood. I'll be holding down the wood to the wood that's on the chair with corner braces. After attaching the wood pieces to the chair, I attached the privacy screen and I didn't like the outcome. So I took it down and oh, before I forget, I attached the screens with large zip ties. That way it will be easy to remove it when I'm moving. So this large zip tie is what's holding the block and the screen together. The zip tie gives a really strong hold and easy to remove when I'll be moving out of the apartment. Now the wood is going to be attached to the screen by the sides with zip ties as well to make the screen stand upright. The next thing I'll do is add wood across. Because I ran out of wood, I'll be using PVC strips for the remaining partitions at the top. I use the double-sided tape that I have to hold the strips to the wood. Now I'm going to be adding sheer curtains to my design. And now it's time for the fun part, adding the pillows. Remember that these are all outdoor cushions and pillows. The two white stools that I use here are a DIY creation of mine, and here's a short clip of how I made them. I have a full tutorial video of this down in the description box below. Like I said earlier, I'm working on my patio and I am so excited to finish it and share it with you guys. I was done with the cheer, so I decided to just share that for now. And then later, I'll show you guys the overall look of the entire patio. And remember, these are quick and easy ways to enjoy your patio even if you're renting because they're all renter friendly. I 
I really love the way I added my own design at the top because now it has a more interesting look with more privacy. And I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.